and then we'll do a transfer with or without prompt. So with with prompt will basically just say we're transferring you to this number. It's going to say without for now. Leave that blank and sales transfer without prompt. Okay. Okay. The reason I've left them blank is because I just want to find out what the uh, operator number is. So I can just go and over here at the group level. Let's have a look who the operator is. I think that'll be Pam Halpert. So I can just punch in her extension or her full number. So let's go to the auto attendance again. Profile. Business hours. And let's put in her number here. Okay, I could also just put in her extension as well, 4689. And let's just say technical support. I'm going to say I'm going to give this now um, almost fictitious or let's just call it dummy extension numbers. So I'm going to call it uh, 4999 for technical and 4888 for sales. Okay. Okay. So now I need to create an IVR um, or auto attendant, one for sales and one for technical. So I'm going to add a new one technical with 4999 so I'm going to give it a name I'm going to say auto attendant technical and I'm going to give it the same name and I'm just going to just to be lazy give it the same calling ID first name and last name keep all that the same And here you could you could leave uh, zero as the operator, uh, four six nine eight I think it was, and one I'm going to say um, uh, printer support, and two will be scanner support. All right, transfer with prompt. So we're going to transfer now. So now if you, the user presses one, that's going to take you to the actual. Um, this could either go to an extension or into a hunt group or into a queue. For now, I'm just going to basically transfer the call directly to a specific user. I'm going to leave that blank for now because I don't know what the user is. This is why it helps to have the IVR mapped out so you can quickly uh, configure this. Leave that blank for now. And obviously, you would have a different announcement. You, know, you would have welcome to technical support, uh, press one for printers and two for scanner, etc. I'm just going to leave it default for now. Right, and then that'll take me through the after hours menu, which is I'm just going to leave as, as is because I'm not going to be using after hours menu. Right, and then I would need one for sales as well. So, AA sales. Name is the same. And I'm going to keep zero as the operator. And you get the idea. We can make this paper sales and printer sales. Okay, so now the trick is we leave after after hours. You'll notice now I think it was four triple nine is for technical. So in order to get from one auto tenant to the other you need to, uh, what I'm using is I'm using an extension because um, we don't want to have to go and use full telephone numbers and waste telephone numbers for this. We can effectively just use extensions. So um, 4999 will get us to technical, to technical sales. So what I can do now is just go into the auto attendance specifically for technical sales. Oh, sorry, just for technical. Go to addresses. And instead of putting in a phone number here, I'm just going to put in an extension. Okay. Now it's important that if you do that and only use an extension, it's, in, it's very important that under the group level, right, if I go on the left here back to group and I go back to actually look at the, um, sorry, under the, you at the group level, you go to profile on the left hand side and then you actually click on profile. It's important that you have this at, at least at one telephone number defined at the call, the calling line ID group number. Okay. If you don't, the internal transfers between auto attendance to extension numbers is not going to work. So 
I'll just go back there to auto tenant. Okay. So four triple nine. So the main option, which is option um, sorry, is option Okay, so technical was option three. So if you hit option three, it'll then transfer you to four triple nine, which will then play this auto attendant, which will then give you further options. And you can go ahead and do the same for sales. So when we configured the auto attendant, you would have noticed that, uh, if we just go back here, that there were two options available. One was for a holiday schedule, which was at that point, we could not populate it and uh, business hours was just every day all day which is the system default now if you wanted to you could go schedules and here you can configure holiday schedules and time schedules so let's go ahead and add a holiday schedule so for example we could say south african public holidays right click on that then go and add a specific day so we can say christmas uh, we could uh, put that for the 25th of December. Right. And we could probably just say all day. And the end. Okay, just say all day there. And it would repeat yearly, I guess. We could put that in as well, because we know it's the same day every year. Um, and here we can, when you say repeat yearly, we can say every year on a specific day. We can say the first day of the week of January, for example. There's quite a few options there. And uh, it never ends. The occurrence is uh, infinite. So I'll just click OK. Oh, sorry. Uh, just leave it off for now. Okay, so now I've created one entry, which is cr uh, Christmas within South African public holidays. And um, I can also create a time schedule. I can also create a time schedule. I'm going to call this um, office hours. So now we can actually define what our off. Oh, sorry. I left an H off hours there. And we can add, say, um, Open or office hours are from eight AM to five PM. We start today and we can give it an end date. We can just literally say twenty fifteen. So now we define what our office hours are as well. Now if you go back to the auto attendant, go back here, we could have um, at the auto attendant level under profile, we can say that this specific menu will only play, so we're defining what our office hours are, in which case it'll play the business hours menu. Um, and then by default, it'll then play the after hours menu, anything outside of office hours that you specified. We can also then at the same level have a holiday schedule. So we can create a specific auto attendant um, for a, uh, a public holiday. So if I selected that, it would only play during those specific holidays, which would then, which would then have a different announcement for public holidays. So um, that gives you, you just click up OK, and that would have activated it. Just click OK there. And now you've, you've, you've activated your business hours between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Right. So that pretty much um, concludes the auto attendant tutorial. I think that'll get you started. Um, I think it is, an, is, is important, as you've noticed, that it is really important that you plan your IVR structures in quite a bit of detail before you get set off and just making sure that you have all the available telephone numbers and resources um, available to you. Uh, thank you very much for your time and please be sure to watch the other web tutorials on this YouTube, YouTube channel. Thank you very much.